This play is a retelling of Newfoundland indigenous history from a different perspective. From the perspective of Beothic women who were subject to colonial violence in a lot of cases. We don't always hear their stories and I wanted to bring those to the forefront and kind of give these women a voice. I'm going through a lot of emotions uh, doing this work because as an Indigenous woman from Newfoundland and Labrador, I um, feel a responsibility uh, to carry these stories and share these voices. It's difficult, it's hard, it's painful, and it is uncomfortable. But I think it's important for people to witness it so that we can move forward together. It was really a big part of my own reconciliation journey and healing all of the traumas, I guess, generational and otherwise, that came with my own indigeneity and figuring out what that meant. Who are your people? My people are Oceana and they named me Upe. To be indigenous in Newfoundland can be somewhat fraught with, uh, with politics and misunderstanding. So I really wanted to have a record of indigeneity from an indigenous point of view that could be accessible to all. I can think of no better place in this province for this play to be staged other than here at the Heart Garden in front of the government house. This is a place that was created to encourage people to think about the truth of our history, to think about the truth of Indigenous history, and to reconcile with that. It's consistent wherever she is. When we started rehearsing here, it felt different. It felt more meaningful to be out here on the land in this garden that was created with such beautiful intention and spirit. I want to make people feel things, maybe that they didn't feel before. And mostly I'd like to make people curious. I'd like for people to come away from it with the desire to seek out more information on their own and to look deeper at the topic because our education system unfortunately doesn't cover all aspects of Newfoundland's colonial history. So it's there, but you have to dig for it. And the more people who go looking for it, the more widely disseminated it becomes.